Hello and welcome. This is Accounting on Excel with Amaka Ifebunando, the Excel coach. And in this training, I'll be showing you how to analyze data using pivot table. We have our database here, which is a, a three years database for Amaka fruits juice that deals on production and supply of fresh juice across the regions. Right. So this is a report we're going to be designing. Um, this is um, a report that helps us analyze by product and also by year. Mind you, it's a three-year data we are working with. So we want to look at the performance of each product and we want to look at how each region is performing across the th all the products across the years we are looking at and also looking at specific year based on what we select here. So if you can look at this here, we have the number of quantities sold across the region for all the products and for the three years. So if you just want to look for mango, you select mango and there you go. You can see uh, the report updates automatically. Let's say we are looking at for orange for the three years. You can see uh, for the East region, the expense we made in 2020, you know, it's 741 and 2021 250 so this is how you analyze and you can make informed decision by looking studying the data and know what will have impacted on the behavior of each data for each of the years. so you can even look at a specific year let's see this 2021 if you want to select for multiple years you just select this checklist there so you can select for two years so we have two years uh, we're looking at two years across all these reports that are here. So if you if you don't want to look at a specific period or a specific uh, product, you can just clear the filter, clear the filter, and you have your report for all the products across the years you are analyzing. Right. So this is what I'll be showing you how to design in the training. So let's go right into it. Good. We have our data. So for us to start, we'll insert this in a pivot table. And for you to insert a data set in a pivot table, I'll advise select a cell that is within the database to tell Excel that this is the database I am working with, right? So just select a cell. You can select the range, but I just select a cell within the database. And when you select the cell, you go to your insert tab. And under the table section, you have your pivot table. You just send, click on it and here you go. Where do you want to insert a pivot table? Notice that immediately Excel selects the range. So it has, it just dictates that this is the where your data resides and this is the database you're going to be using. So you can see it selects the entire data within the range, right? Mind you, I just selected a cell within the range. So Excel automatically uh, dictates that this is the range of data I want to use. So where do we want to place our pivot table in a new worksheet or an existing worksheet, right? Or in a new worksheet. So you select the new worksheet and you click OK. Good. We have a sheet immediately created. So I'll just move it to the end. You can call it report. Report 2. Good. So we have our pivot table handle. This is what we call our pivot table handle. And this is a pivot table field where you have all the column headings. You can see all the column headings, dates here, region, product, sales price, cost price, quantity sold, revenues. So all the column headings are what makes up your pivot table field. So ensure that your data has a descriptive column heading. It makes it easier for you to generate reports, right? So first, what is the report we want to generate? If you look at our reports here, we want number of quantities sold by region number of quantities sold by region. So we have our region first. It goes to the rows field, then quantity sold. Good. So we have our report right here. So you see just we just clicks, two clicks away and we have created our report number of quantities by region. So the East region, let's format this to have a comma separated. You can just select it and there you go. So we have the East region has 9,144, North region and South and West. So we can see and the total uh, quantity sold across the region for the three years we are looking at. Good. So for us to 
design the other report. All we do is just select this, copy it, just to create another pivot table. Instead of inserting, just click here, Control V, and just click here, Control V. So what we need to do is just to prepare our report. The report we pre prepare what's revenue. We want to prepare our profit revenue expenses. So we have our revenue expenses. So the revenue expenses goes to the value field. So you can see the revenue expenses. So what we want to prepare here is a profit. So we need, if you notice, our our database does not have the profit column, gross profit column. So we need to insert a calculated column here. We already have our revenue. We have our expenses. All we are looking out for is the gross profit because we want to prepare a report showing the gross profit by region. So we have revenue. So we create this column. And that is what we'll just do here. So when you select it, select the cell, you go to your pivot table analyze, right? So whenever you want the pivot table future to appear, you see it disappear. You have to select within the pivot table um, region. So immediately the pivot table analyze tab and the design tab is active. So I'll click on the pivot table analyze tab. Right, so you come to this calculation section, you notice the field items and set. So click on the drop down. The first option is the calculated field. So you select calculated field. So what do we want to, the field we want to input? The gross profit. The gross profit. So we want to insert the formula here. So all you need to do is just your revenue minus your expenses. So just double click, good, and minus. Then double click on the expenses. Good. Then you click OK. Good. Notice that the gross profit column has been added. Right. So that is how you add a calculated column. So the next, the next um, report we created our expenses or revenue by region and by year. So we have expenses. So isn't so we want the year to be in the column on the column. So you just drag and bring it here. So you have your report good to go. So notice you have 2020, 2021, 2022. So you have your grand total. So you may just want to reduce the size here and you just want to remove the grand total. So all I do is just right select the grand total, right click on it, and you see. Remove grand total. I don't want the grand total column. I just want it this way. Good. So after you've done this, you can now edit the heading of your of each of your reports. So I want this to have region, not row label. So I will just type region. All right, region. Then you click enter. Then you come to this point double click on it and I want to remove the sum. I just want quantity sold. So uh, because the quantity sold is already existing, if I click enter, it won't accept. So I'll have to give it a space, maybe in front or after then good quantity sold. So if you look at this, also have region, right? So also do the same thing for this. Mind you, maybe I'll give a space in front Good. So the same thing here. I'll just give a space in front. Good. Then gross profits. Give a space in front. Good. So for here we have just put year. Let's see expense by year. Good. So we have a region here. The same thing. So good. We're good to go. Our report is ready. So we have our report based on quantity sold, the profit, and the expense by year, region and by year. So what we'll do next is to insert a slicer. And for us to insert a slicer, just select any of the any anywhere any of the reports. When you select any of the reports, you go to your analyze tab, you see insert slicer. So we want to insert a date slicer. Okay, a year slicer, good, and product slicer. Good, so we have the product slicer here. So 
and I want it to be, I don't want it to be um, vertical, I want it horizontal. So you click on the slicer, immediately the slicer uh, tab is active. So when it's active, what you need to do is to come to this place, you see the buttons. So how many columns? One. So I will just increase the number of columns. So I want three columns. So you can see. Good. So we have it here. Then this two will increase it to three. And here we go. All right. Here we go. Good. So we have our slices. And if you select any, notice the reports updates. So if you notice, the slicer is only working for just this one. All right. So what we need to do is to link the slicer to others. So we'll create report connection. So connect it to all the pivot table and click OK. So notice immediately I see. So this one to select and report connection, it just connected to one. So you connect it to others. Good. So I can have multiple years. So to compare each, are you saying that? Are you saying and are you saying that? So this is how we create it. So you can change the color of this. I use light gray. So you can change, change the color of this to whichever um, the suits you. I used the light green here. So you can also change this, come to slicer and good. So if you're also okay, I can also change this. Uh, come to pivot table, the design tab. Then you can use a light green just to have it uniform. I used, okay, so also have to change this, the design tab. Design tab, good. So the same design we'll be using across all the reports. Good. So we're good to go. So you can just make your view to be without grid lines just for a better view. Good. So you can see our report is gaining better shape. Right. So you can just move this. You can move this downwards. And move this downwards. I can move this downwards. Good. So you can see our report is good and ready to go. So notice, let me clear the filter. You can see everything updates. So you just want to see how your business is doing. You can you notice that for the eastern region, we note the quantity sold across the three years is 9,144. Right. So we can make this whole number by reducing the decimal. Decimal, we can reduce the decimal. So you notice this. So this too, we can reduce the decimals. Reduce the decimals here. Right. Good. So notice our report. South, the total quantity sold is 7,140. And in that south, the revenue made, the expenses. And for the year 2020, you notice that this revenue made to 2020, we made 1.2. In 2021, 1.4. And in 22, there have been increased for the south region in 2020, 2021. So you can just look at the data and from there you can make informed decision so you select orange notice the details for orange updates right you select pineapple juice everything about pineapple juice across the year if you want to look at just two years you can see for that so if i don't want, if i just want to look at a year i i click i uncheck this multiple select and i'll just look at one year 2021 good so this is how you analyze your data using pivot table. So I can just uncheck, 
uncheck this and uh, clear the filter here. And there you have your total report based on the product and the year we are looking at, right? So if you've gotten value from this, do well to give this video a thumbs up, like this video, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload value tips on this channel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next stream. Bye for now.